Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to do Arima, which is one of the most popular forecasting models out there. And of course it is popular in a way because it's very very easy to implement and at the same time it's actually quite powerful. If you're interested in learning more about Arima or other time series forecasting models, you'll find in the description a link to my secret discount portal with deep or high amount of vouchers for all of my Udemy courses. So please be sure to check it out. For this video, the first thing that we need to do is to actually install the library that will enable us to use Arima. So pip and then install pmd Arima. Of course, there are other libraries where you can use Arima, but this one is definitely my favorite. So quite simple. Let me do control enter and then let me open a new code cell. And while this is running, what I need to do is to actually then import the libraries and let me do it after this is over, which should take like five or maybe a couple more seconds than that. And here goes. So 10 seconds, close the output. And then what I need to do is import pandas as PD. And then from PMD Arima, I import the auto Arima. This is quite powerful because it automatically finds the best parameters for your Arima model. Again, let's do control enter. And now let's get our data set. So the data set that I have prepared for you. It is about Udemy and the amount of Wikipedia page visits that it had over, I think, since 2016 up until the end of 2020. Pandas read underscore CSV. And then I put this in those tiny links so that you can follow with me for this particular video. And here you go. So in quotes, HTTPS and then colon slash slash bit dot ly and then slash udemy underscore data frame and let's see how it actually looks so that we can plan the next steps here we go control enter and so it has this date it has the udemy wikipedia page visits easter and christmas which are regressors that we're not going to use but what i need to do is that i need to include or i need to put the index column as date so index call equals and then date and then i'm going to use this parse underscore dates and let me correct here on the left side parse underscore dates equals two and then i'm going to include true and then as frac because i know it's daily you know it's daily but computers or programming they're not very good at understanding this so it's better that if you tell it so that way there's no mistake and again include a capital d for daily let's do shift enter here we go and here you see like the new format with date in the index column and then the next step is to actually do a training and the test set and i'm going to do training equals to i got my data frame and i do dot i lock and i'm going to do basically everything up until and i'm going to leave like 31 days so the last month will be for the test set and here you go so it will be up until minus 31 days and then i want all of the columns and then the test equals to data frame dot i lock and then here is everything starting from the minus 31 days up until the very end comma and then I want all of the columns. Let me do control enter. And here we go. Then we create our model. It goes to we use the auto arima. And then open parenthesis. And then here what we do is we state this y, which is our time series. We go to the training and it is dot udemy. And then because it's arima, there's no seasonal component, so include seasonal equals to false and then it will run it will take some seconds so i'll pause here and i'll be right back it took 34 seconds to do this optimization and find the best parameters and then we do now our predictions 
and predictions equals to we use our model to predict and then what we include is number of periods and number of periods is the 31 days so super simple let's have a look so predictions let's have a look at the first five to see what we need to do as the next steps we see here that we get an array and this is something that i don't want i want it to have or to be a series so pandas dot series open parenthesis and then let me close it here and then let's have a look at the predictions and one thing is that there is no date in this index so what we do is we go to our predictions dot index equals to and then we borrow the index from the test set so that they have the same and here you go control enter and here you go so test set is not defined it's because i called it just test let's do control enter and here we go so you can see here with the right index and now let's do the visualization we go to our training and then we do in square brackets udemy and then do dot plot and then figure size this one is works well for me here as of course i'm also doing the video so it's something that really needs to match but this is something that's definitely not mandatory for you and then what i also recommend is this legend equals to true simply because we will have three different lines one for the training one for the test and the other one for the predictions and then we have the test and then of course udemy once more dot plots and then legend equals to true and then we have the predictions and we can just do dot plot and here we go let's see what we get out of it we get an error so line to the object has no property fig size and then so if it has no property fig size or better yet fig ice so this is actually the mistake so it's a spelling mistake and if i go here and i include the s let's do control enter another mistake so as no property legend again second spelling mistake and whenever you have a look and you see that the issue has has no property this is a spelling mistake like nine out of ten and here we go and what i see here is actually a big mess because this is definitely not visible at all so let's add a second step and let's do 2020 01 and then 01 to the right include the colon and then let's just have a look at the data from 2020 and here we go and we see where basically it is trending from the wikipedia page perspective which is the orange and then what actually arima predicted and to be honest you know, it's very very uh, disappointing and one of the possible reasons is that most likely there is some seasonality which uh, our arima is obviously not capturing because i include seasonal equals false and what it tells me is that we should do uh, at least sarima or the seasonal arima to try and see if we actually get better results with this i'll stop for now and be sure to check out the other tutorials that i have on time series forecasting and i'm looking forward to seeing you in another video until then have fun